Hi. Since I've been making these videos on retirement, a number of people in the comments have said to me, why don't you tell us about a typical day in your retirement, Tom? And I thought to myself, that could be quite misleading. When you've been retired as long as I have, the typical day changes radically over the time. For example, when I retired, so-called retired, at 59 years of age in 1995, I fully believed I'd be going back to work again. And I applied for many jobs, didn't get any, made the short list a few times, always regarded as too old, and eventually I took up some voluntary work. And that voluntary work probably lasted a few months, and that was doing some office work for an organisation known as Mission Australia. And one of the jobs I used to do is practice interviewing skills with young people who are after work. And after a while, that I got tired of that, mainly because I could see that they weren't motivated mostly. They didn't really want to get jobs anyway. So then I became, I joined an organisation known, known as the Australian Storytellers Guild. And that involved me in a lot of work, as far as pleasurable work, of course, meeting with other members, practising presentations, giving storytelling events and so forth. So that lasted a while. And then I think probably the most satisfying period to a great degree was probably between about 1998 and 2008. I joined an organisation known as the U3A, the University of the Third Age. The Third Age, of course, being the age of retirement. This is a worldwide organisation and I got right into that and eventually, in the last eight years of that ten years, ran a class myself called Inner Quest, Our Search for Happiness, Body, Mind and Spirit. A very successful class. But I also attended other classes, one on colonial history, in Australia that is, and the other one was aviation history. And in those classes I made a lot of good friends. They attended my classes, I attended theirs. But there was the social side of it. it, was so good. After the classes, we might go out to lunch somewhere. There would be weekends away on, on bus trips. Every year for 10 years, we would fill a coach and go away for a week. So these were marvellous days. And as I said, these are the sort of things that you can do if you retire early enough. I gave that away to write a book with a colleague. That took about a year. That book was published and then I got on to other things. In the meantime, I was, I was always in Toastmasters, Toastmasters International, um, learning about public speaking, giving presentations. I gave a presentation when the 100th anniversary of the sinking of the Titanic came around. I organised to give a presentation before 168 people to tell this story about the Titanic. And it went over really well. In 2015, I went to Hong Kong and gave a workshop on storytelling. So you can see that over the years, things change a lot. Now, as I've said before, and as it's been said by other people, when we retire, we have plenty of energy. We're in the go-go years of our retirement. You can do a lot then. And then after that, it goes to the go-slow period. And that's what I think I've entered now. By that I mean I'm not willing to travel as far. I don't do as many presentations as I used to do. I keep within about a 10 kilometre radius of where I live as far as going out and giving presentations. I spend a lot of time on the internet. And of course, over the last year, roughly the last year, I've been making these videos. But prior to that, for the seven years preceding that, I was also making videos on other subjects, such as presentation skills and various skills on how to live a happy life. So to be able to turn around and say, this is a typical day, 
is not easy and it won't be easy for you either. Your retirement will be what you make it. If you retire early enough and determined to get out and get involved, that's important, get out and get involved. Not just going fishing, playing golf with a couple of friends you've known for years. Get out and meet new people, find new interests. If you do that, your early years of retirement, when I say early years, it could be 20 years. It could be from 55 to say 75 or even late 70s before you get to the goer slowing stage. I found when I reached about 80, 81, I thought to myself, I don't have the energies that I used to have. Now coming up to 88, I have to admit that is the truth. But I still go to the gym. In fact, I was at the gym just before I made this presentation. Came home, made a shower, changed, and decided to talk about this to you. So a typical day will vary enormously over the years. The days will be what you make it. The advice is being given not just by me, but by hundreds of people who know a lot about retirement. And I'm not just talking about the financial side of retirement. I don't talk about that because I know so little about it. It's about what to do in retirement, what to become in retirement, what to be in retirement, finding your purpose, finding your joy, finding the real you of why you want to get up in the morning. That's what's important. I hope you got something out of this one.